My name is Charlie Hasdell and I'm creative director on SingStar. Creative director on SingStar, I guess, is a slightly different role to uh, other creative directors because we're quite a small team. So I'm not just a creative director, I'm kind of lead designer and a designer, so I'm very hands-on. I also work with uh, lots of external groups within the studio, so I work with the CSG team who are creative services group. They provide us with all our graphic design assets and obviously SingStar is quite a uh, graphic design heavy game, very menu heavy, so having them come on board with my vision but allowing other people to have their vision, have their creative input is really important because otherwise people don't buy into the project. So it's, it's an interesting role as, as creative director because you've got to make sure that you hold the vision for the project and keep everyone steered towards that vision but allow them to have their own creativity and have their own expression within the product as well. So you've done that one, that works. So it's, it's an interesting balancing act between what I require from the game and what other people want to put into it. I've worked on SimStar for 10 years now, which is a, a very long time actually to be on a product. Fortunately for me, I've worked on quite a diverse sort of set of features within SimStar, so it's always kept me quite interested. I did a lot of work on voice control, I did a lot of second screen experience, and then I did a period of um, working on the Move Controller and doing dance games as well. We did SingStar Plus Dance, and then the team expanded and we created Dance Star. So you, know, you go from working with phonemes and doing voice control stuff, to working with a Move Controller, working outside of the studio with uh, dancers and sort of choreographing dance shoots. It's very different experiences. So whilst I've been on SingStar for 10 years, it's been, I've moved around, done quite a lot of very sort of technically varied things. Because I'm quite a technical designer, I quite enjoy sort of getting in with the programming team, understanding what technical limitations are, and understanding how best to bend them. And I think that's quite an important role for a designer, is understanding you've got this thing you can do, but you've got these things you can't do, how can you create the best experience of what you can do? What, can you, what bits from the Lego box can you use to make something cool? So those guys are looking at our playlist app. So we've got uh, one of the things we announced uh, when we announced SingStar for PS4 and PS3, sort of like the whole rebrand of the product, whereas you can use your phone as a mic. So you connect your phone to your PS4, or your PS3, and you can use it as a microphone. So we remove that barrier to entry for people who go, oh, I haven't got mics, I can't play SingStar. But on top of that, it's, it's, a, it's a whole suite of, fun suite of functionality. So you have a playlist app in there, and right now Joey's working with Rob, our graphic designer on sort of functionality of that playlist app to make sure that it's in line with the, the design that Joey did in the first place. And the graphic design that Rob did as well. We should talk about how bad I sing. I've got an award for how bad I sing. <laughs> uh, I'm not a particularly good singer, no. Uh, but I think it's important not to be good at things because I think, you know, the players aren't necessarily good at things. And it's, it's quite useful not to be good at singing and not to be good at dancing because I'll be the guy when we were doing Dance Star, I'm the guy that if the dance isn't easy enough for me to do, then it's too hard. So it's, it's a useful skill to have to not be good at games in certain respects. And that's, I think, being able to be more like the use, end user is quite an important skill to have. So not being great at singing, it's not the end of the world unless you're in the room with me while I'm singing. <laughs> and we do things on a Friday afternoon, we do what we call Sing Along Friday, which is trying to encourage people to come and play the game so I can see people interacting with the game. We can all bond together and sing together and it's, it, it's good fun. You and I just collapsed in love And it looks like we might have made it Yes it looks like we've made it to the end Will you? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. They're all fantastic. To, to get into the games industry, I think I mean, I've done quite a lot of work with this sort of working with kids, to, doing career fairs and stuff like that. So the best thing I think anyone that can do that wants to get into games is start making games. There are tools out there now. You know, you can get Unity for free. You learn Unity. You don't really need to know how to do art or program. And looking at the indie scene right now, you see games that come out that have quite a low sort of. 
uh, low bar in terms of art, but they, they still have quite compelling game design behind them. You look at things like Thomas Was Alone. So with Thomas Was Alone, he just used the skills he had to make a really compelling game with a very strong narrative, got someone to do a really strong voiceover to go with that, really strong audio experience, and all of a sudden you've got an indie hit. So, you know, get into the tools. From my point of view, I, I kind of wish that those tools were available when I was much younger, that I could spend much more time learning and experimenting with game concepts and trying stuff out, iterating, moving through stuff and creating my own sort of visions of games as well. The sacrifice is worth it when you see the finished product. To get your product polished and finished in time takes a lot of effort and you know, you are here late, you do do a lot of hours, I think that's, that comes up a lot within the industry, people talk about the hours people work, that's a fact but when you enjoy what you do and you want to deliver something that is within the expectations of how you started and what your vision was, then you will put in those extra hours and you will take, take it on the chin because at the end of the day, you want to do it, you know, and it, and it is so enjoyable.